Hey guys, I'm Dr. Gagan Gankenstein, I think. Yeah, that's it. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Gankenstein, and this is my beginner's guide to using Cloak. I want to cover some of the basics of the ability, just like what it is, what it does. And then I want to go over some of the more uh, in-depth things, like little tips here and there, things that you should know about. This is more for somebody who's new to the game or new to Nightblades. And when I say Cloak, I'm referring to Shadowy Disguise or the Unmorphed version, Shadow Cloak. Alright, let's start off with the basics, like how it works. You run along, you hit cloak, and you're hidden for about 30 seconds. And then you pop back out like that. So if you want to maintain invisibility, you hit cloak, and then hit crouch. Like watch here. Then crouch. And then you maintain invisibility. Now the good part about this is, you're still invisible. The bad part is, when you're moving in sneak like this, your stamina recovery is reduced to zero. And I'll show you guys here in a second. And I'll freeze it. So you'll see my stamina recovery is at zero. And it'll come back if you stand still for like a second or two. Sometimes it takes longer when it's laggy. So let's say you're you want you want to recover your stamina. So let me drain some stamina here. So hit, this time let's not crouch. We'll just hit cloak. And this works better if you have better like magic recovery. So you can see my stamina is recovering, and then my leeching strikes just you know help boost it. And I can do that again without leeching strikes. So that's one way to regen stamina while invisible. So if you want to maintain invisibility, invisibility, I can't even talk. If you want to maintain invisibility, you'll cloak and then crouch. And if you want to regen some stamina, just hit cloak and don't crouch. Like I'm doing right here. Obviously my regen on this gank build is pretty bad. But it actually works pretty good if you have good regen. Alright, so that's the basics. Let's move on to the next thing, which is something that you guys should just be aware of. So when you're entering and exiting an enemy keep or an outpost, it's going to auto-detect you. Here, I'll show you guys here where the guard's hitting me. But uh, here we go. See, my eye opens. I know I'm dotted, but I'll show you here in a sec keep going in and out of here see auto detects so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna when you run through the entrance like this hit your cloak button and it's really good if you have speed also that way you get through faster see how it's auto detecting me it's just something to be aware of just figured I'd let you guys know that and help you guys survive a little bit longer the ganker life is very short as you know, we live life in the fast lane, full throttle. Yeah, see how it keeps detecting me? So, yep, just go ahead and hit cloak. And that's that. This is the same on, on outposts too, by the way. And I think on the inner, when you go through the inner, it'll do the same thing. Alright, next. We'll go over stealth repairing. So what you're going to do is, you're going to go to repair, and about halfway through, you just hit cloak, like once or twice. If you hit it too early, you're going to pop out of invisibility. And this is good too, because like you can repair something while the enemy's kind of watching you, as long as they're not sieging it. And if they're not paying attention to the, the damage on the door or the wall, the numbers going up, then uh, you can close doors or walls behind them. I'll show you guys an example of uh, an old clip I had a long time ago. So as you can see the guy, I'm repairing this door and this guy is like right there staring at it. He's not even paying attention. Alright, next is Stealth Resurrection. This used to be an actual Stealth Res, that's why I still call it that. So what this does is, okay, so you have your weapon out. You go to put it away and about halfway through, 
you start your res. Like watch, see what it do, what it does is it doesn't have that that glowy aura, the beacon around it. So you just if people aren't paying attention, they're not gonna notice it. Like that guy right there, he he didn't even notice it. And now look at this guy over here, and you see the glowy the beacon, and then we all just converge on him. And, and the next thing is stealth swimming. This is kind of like a, a pretty basic thing. As you know, when you when you cross a, a body of water, you're, you're going to be uh, un, unhidden. And I'll just show you guys something real quick. Swim, swim to the other side. It's better over there. Alright, so we'll hit cloak, and then we're just going to run into the water. Or, from cloak. See, it instantly reveals you. So what you want to do is, uh, let's get some speed. And then hit cloak right before you hit the, hit the water. And if you make it to the other side, you can hit crouch, and your guy will just maintain invisibility. It works really good with the Argonian. I'll just do it a couple more times. Again, these are just like basic, like uh, beginner uh, tips. But every little bit helps. Helps, I think, especially if you're new to new to the class. See, at least swim across that hidden. Okay, this concludes my beginner's guide to using Cloak. If you guys know any other tips, uh, put them in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys later.